Good morning, this is Burnrate, and I was inspired by a question on Reddit about the differences between relative, local, and world rotation for an object. So what we're going to do is take a look at that, and here we can see we have a cube, which is a parent of a smaller cube, cube 1, and you can see both of their x-axis goes out to the left here. And what I'm going to do first is add to the relative rotation of cube 1, the smaller cube, I'm going to cause it to roll. I'm going to basically add to its x-axis. Add the rotation around its x-axis for each event tick. So we can play that and see what it looks like. So you can see it rolling. The x-axis points out to the left here. So we'll close that. And let's go look here. We're going to do the same thing but for local rotation. Now this is just adding to the local rotation because it just gets the local reference frame or it just adds to the local reference frame. It's not something you really get or modify it. It just adds to it. That's why up here you can see relative and world is an option for the transform, but not local. So I think someone else can probably explain that better. If you want to leave it in the comments, I might add as an annotation or something. But we're just going to leave that alone after we take a look. See, it does the same thing. It spins around your x-axis, rolls it. Now we'll go down here and do set world rotation. Same thing around the x-axis. And you can see, just doing the same exact thing, so no big deal. Now let's go back again, and we'll do set relative rotation, but we're going to take the cube, the parent cube, and change its pitch by 45 degrees, so we'll have something like this. So we can go back here, and this is setting X rotation. So this cube is tilted on its side, its X axis is pointing out here, and it's continuing to roll around it. The same thing it was doing before relative to its parent cube. And that's kind of what you would expect. So let's stop that, and we'll go back here, and now we'll go down to world rotation, and we're going to hit play again. And you can see it's doing the same thing, and you might have expected, say, well, the world X axis is pointing to the left. Why isn't it rotating about that X? while well, you're adding rotation around its x-axis. So no matter which way this smaller cube is turned, it's always going to rotate around its x-axis when you add rotation around the x-axis. Now to understand the difference, what we're going to have to do is look at what these rotations actually are. So we're going to look at the rotation x, y, z as this cube rotates in the world frame and it's getting world rotation here. So we can see its pitch is 45 degrees, just like the pitch of its parent cube. And you can see the R, the roll, around its x-axis is changing as it's rolling and moving. So it has a pitch of 45 and a roll, and that's its world rotation settings. Now we can go up here and do the same thing for the relative rotation. And we'll bring out print string. And here we can see its pitch compared to its parent, because we're looking at relative rotation, is zero, which makes sense, because all I did was rotate the parent cube, and I did not change this cube's pitch with regard to its parent cube. But as it's rolling around its x-axis, you can again see the roll changing. So when you assign a command to change rotation of an object around its x, y, or z axis, it's always going to roll around that axis regardless of its orientation in the world or its orientation to its parent. It's going to say, oh, you want me to roll around my x-axis? I will do so. So you're not applying a transform by setting world rotation. You're not applying a transform to rotate the object around the world x-axis by using world rotation. What this is, what you can use this for is if you ever have a situation in your game where you want to see an object's world rotation versus its relative rotation, or the other way around where you want to see its relative rotation to understand how the object is oriented. And, you know, for whatever reason in any game, there's, you know, a million possible reasons. And so that's the difference is, is the, the angles, how it's defined. And so applying a rotation to an object using relative and world isn't going to give you a different result. Another situation where this might make 
more sense is when you are setting the, ro the rotation, basically world or relative. So here I've mapped the R key when it presses it to set the relative rotation to 45 for pitch. And when I release the R key, it sets it back to 000. zero, zero. And then after I press a release, it's going to get it and print the string. So we expect it to just say 0450 zero, zero, or 000, zero, zero, zero when we press and release. And that's for cube one. So we'll play it again. So I'm going to press R. And that gave us a relative rotation of 45. So you can see it's now out here at a, what would be a world rotation of 90. And I release it, it's again 0, 0, 0. So we can stop and go back and look at it. I press W, it'll set the world rotation to 0. And, or set, when I press it, yeah, it'll press 0, 0, and I'll release, go back to 0, 45, 0, which is that currently. So I press it. 0, 0, 0 world rotation, release 45, 0, 0. That's the world rotation. Right now its relative rotation is 0, 0, 0, but its world rotation is 45, 0, 0. Well, thanks for joining me. I hope this was at least somewhat informative and answered your questions. Ha, <laughs> gimbal lock. Uh, anyway, leave any comments, corrections, thoughts below, and I'll happily add them to annotations to fix anything I did wrong in this video. And I hope you join me for any future tutorials as I am inspired to do them.